Hey everyone, this is Timo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video. So, in today's Flash tip, we will see how to hide or display content specifically for Google Bots in PrestaShop. And we will see how to do it on both the template and PHP sites. This can be useful in various ways to improve your Google PageSpeed ranking, which is, as far as we know, a ranking factor for Google. Well, as you can see here, I have Google PageSpeed Insights open. And to start off, you can see uh, this demo site of mine is not really optimized at all. Uh, there are plenty of things I could do before starting to code anything, like enabling CCC, uh, caching, and so on, which I really uh, didn't do honestly because it's just a demo site. However, when you try to get the highest scores, you might find that you have some things that cannot really be optimized, like few images or maybe too many entries for products or manufacturers list, etc. What can we do then? Well, first, at a template level, we can hide certain things. Bear in mind, this is just a trick and you should not really abuse it. So, let's see how to do it. I have opened up my header.tpl file here located in the template folder. And for example, let's pretend I have a banner here, as you can see this one, and let's pretend it's too heavy for Google. So uh, this is kind of a trick, as I said, so please don't abuse it. Um, the point is hiding it if the Google bot is browsing our site. So what we can do here is take this whole banner area, or maybe just this row, no, let's take the whole banner area and wrap it in an if statement. So if smarty the server dot http underscore user underscore agent contains so string string Google. So if it doesn't contain Google, I want to display it, right? So if, okay, save, just upload the file. And now let me refresh my website. And you can see my banner is still here. But if I load it again with Google PageSpeed Insights, you can see it's gone. And this is good. If this was a um, very heavy image, we would have got a better ranking for now. Of course, we can do the same with PHP first. Let me reset this template. So we'll save it. Okay, let me just check that it's back. All right, as you can see, it's back here. And then I will open up my block banner.php, which is the modules um, that uh, banner block core file. Right? So I will locate hook display top, which is run by hook display banner we just saw. And I will do simply the same but with PHP. So if string string server HTTP with two T's, user agent contains Google, I'll just return. Okay, save. Let's go back and analyze again. So let me try once more. It seems like it's stuck or maybe I did something wrong. Let's see, right. So if string string server, okay, I had a small mistake. All right, should work now. All right, you can see it's gone now as well. So we're done for today's video and please remember this is just a trick, do not abuse it or you will get penalized by Google. So I hope you found it useful and if you did, 
Please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.